Greetings, Earthlings. This is Tamasha, and as usual, we are in the kitchen. In the kitchen. You know, I like to dance when food is involved. In the kitchen. We're getting ready to make one of my favorite, like, I am completely obsessed with this salad dressing. If you've been following me for a little while, then you will notice that I love eating salads. I think salads are very important to add to your your meals, if not a couple times a week, at least once a week. There's so much nutrients and vitamins packed into one salad. The downfall of that for me is the salad dressings. I used to buy salad dressings that I thought I would like and I just started getting turned off because I'm the type of person that reads ingredients. And after I'd see all these great ingredients, it didn't matter the brand, I'd see all these great ingredients and then I would see a couple in there that was some kind of preservative or some kind of unhealthy sweetener. And so I started making my own dressings. And this one that I'm getting ready to make, I actually am getting ready to eat a salad and I like this one because it's not only good on salads, it's good on pasta dishes. I love the zucchini pasta idea and it's good as a sauce on like veggie wraps and even if you wanna do some kind of veggie uh, sushi, it's just a good sauce all around that you can use separate of salads. So let's begin. It's really good, it has a couple different ingredients, very simple. And what you will need are cashews. Raw cashews work best. You can soak them if you want. I didn't soak these. I don't think it's necessary. Um, and you're going to need some Italian seasoning or any kind of herbs that you would like. But I use Italian seasoning because it has a little bit of everything in there. You're going to definitely need some sea salt and you're going to need some water to kind of make it a little fluid. You're going to need some lemon. Well, I use limes with seeds. I can't find any lemons or limes that have seeds, so I use key limes. You're gonna need some key lime juice, and you're going to need an onion. Any, and so, you know, I like to tell you, this is your recipe. You can use red onion, green onion, white onion. It's up to you. As far as the lime or the citrus, you can use lemon, regular limes. It's totally up to you, it's your recipe. Um, so, and make sure you have a high speed blender because you want, you don't want it to be chunky. You want it to be smooth. So let's get started. Basically you add everything into your blender. So this is, um, and you can double this, you can make it half, you can half it, whatever you want to do. This is one cup of cashews. And then we have about a third of a cup of lime juice or lemon juice and this is a a half of an onion and i just used a white onion because that's what i had available and you literally just put it all in the blender you put your water um about three-fourths of a cup of water we're going to start with a little bit, and if we need to add some, then we will. And we're going to put our herbs. Now, like I said, it's up to you. I'm just going to put about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half or more. <laughs> it's up to you. And we're going to put in some sea salt. As far as the salt, if you don't like salt, if you don't you know, it's not your thing, you you blood pressure issues or whatever, omit the salt. You can use as much or as little as you would like. And then all you do is put it on your blender and blend it up. Okay, that's done. So as far as this dressing, um, I couldn't really come up, think of a, a, a good way to describe it, but it's very similar to like a Caesar dressing or maybe, a ranch dressing um i love it like i said i'm obsessed with it so let me show you the consistency let's see pour some in this bowl i got some tomatoes like that and see 
That's the consistency of it. That's the color of it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you do yourself a favor and put quite a bit of Italian seasoning or the herbs in there. That definitely takes it to the next level. Gives you more of a ranch Caesar dressing vibe. One more piece. Mm. Try this dressing. You won't be mad. I'm going to put the measurements in the description box below. I typically don't measure, but I like to give you somewhere to start and then you can tweak it or do whatever you need from there. The only thing I did not put in here this time, which I will next time, is some pepper. I really would prefer cayenne, but I think it needs a little bit of a kick or you can use black pepper. It's up to you, no pepper at all. But thank you. Subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share this with someone who you know that could use it, who like to eat salads. And um, just keep coming back. More recipes are on the way. The Earthy Oasis, definitely follow me, subscribe, like this video. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers and I need you to help me with that. All right, love you. Don't forget to let me know what you think about it. Bye.